weekend. Hello, everyone, and welcome again to Mass United Insurance's Line and Them. It's the cricket program where we look at the sport, not only in the region, but internationally as well. I'm Barry Wilkinson. With me is Andrew Seeley. Hello to all of our friends on Sportsmax and Scene TV in the USA. What a week it has been. The Lyman Call CPL now winding down. And, of course, we also have some controversies to look at. This man in picture, youngster, 19, year old from, 19 years old from St. Vincent. His name is Ray Jordan. But Andrew, some questions about his action. And certainly, he's been around a little bit, been to the under-19 World Cup, and there were questions there. Now here at the Lima Call Caribbean Premier League, there are more questions. And Wendell Coppin, international coach and former WICB development officer, he weighs in on Jordan. That's right. Ray Jordan, we're going to weigh in on him. Wendell Coppin, like he said, is going to weigh in. And also, we're going to go to St. Kitts and Nevis and talk to Mike Hazeman. He's the lead commentator for sports, uh, for Super Sport in South Africa, and he's also doing some great work here in the Lima Call CPL. Lots to discuss, lots to show you. Don't move a muscle when we come back. We got Mass United Insurance. This is Lightning and Left. Across the Caribbean, more people are placing their trust in Massey United Insurance for the protection of the things that are important to them, their homes, businesses, and their prized possessions. That's because Massey United Insurance offers excellent general insurance coverage to help you manage whatever life sends your way. Our cadre of well-reputed agencies and trained insurance professionals are always ready to provide you with sound advice and prompt service. Choose the security and sound strength that is Massey United Insurance. In the Caribbean, we do things a little differently. Okay, a lot differently. Our parties are bigger and more colorful. Our people are more beautiful and more sensual. Our fans are more expressive and loud. And our cricket, our cricket is exhilarating. Lima Call CPL, the biggest party in sport, is back. And it's time to come see the stars of West Indies cricket alongside the best international players in T20. Peterson, Mulitharan, Hafiz, and many more when the Lima Call CPL returns from 11th July to 16th August. The Caribbean comes alive with partying, dancing, cheering, and the thrill of the Lima Call Caribbean Premier League. It's time to join the biggest party in sport. See cplt20.com for details. It's how we play. I live cool, I live fresh, I live life without the stress. Every day I feel my best, I live cool with Lima Call. Feel the energy, feel the breeze, I feel like doing as I please. Relaxation comes with these, I live cool with Lima Call. Live cool with Lima Call and feel the freshness of a breeze in a bottle. Lima Call is trusted the world over and gives that easy, breezy Caribbean feel to all. Every day I feel my best. So we're back on Mass United Insurance's line of length. As promised, with us is Wendell Coppin, former West Indies Cricket Board Development Officer, who is now a professional coach in Barbados. And uh, Andrew Seeley, of course, continues to be with us. We are looking and we are zeroing in on the action of Ray Jordan and his cricket generally, because we believe he has too much talent to just perhaps fall by the wayside. I think generally, guys, we have agreed. Wendell, it's good to have you on the program. One of the reasons why we've asked you to come is because I want you to tell me a little bit about what you think about Ray Jordan. We've had some emails about him. What is your opinion on his bowling and his, his action in particular? Well, Barry, thanks for having me. Um, it's just nice to be back on the, on the program. Um, obviously, from seeing the action, there, 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 there are some, some kinks in, the, in, 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 his, in, in his bowling arm, which, which ultimately will, will, will cause some, some concern. Um, with the naked eye, um, I know that there has been some testing with him um, on the international stage while he was at a, a Youth World Cup some years ago. Um, so I'm not surprised that, that at this stage um, that the, the issues are, are, are still there. Um, it, 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 because of the degree of, of, of bending that you can see with the naked eye, one, one, would, one would assume that, that, that yes, um, he, he does exceed the limit um, that is specified by the International Cricket Council of the 13 degrees. So I, I would have thought that 
that, that as a result of that, that, that he will have some, con that, that there are concerns uh, with regards to his action, without a doubt. And what happens next, Wendell? This has been recognized, I think, as you indicated, internationally. At, at this stage, having gone through the Lima Call Caribbean Premier League and looked pretty good, what's the next step for Jordan? Well, the next step ultimately will be testing, um, scientific testing, where that, that he will um, go have a series of balls delivered and there will be biomechanics specialists who will evaluate the analysis from, from his action um, and then a course of action of, of remediation. Uh, the difficulty with the remediation is because of the complexity of his action and it could take anything from three months to three years. Um, wow. So, so th there is no, there's no specific time phase on, on, on how long the remediation for that. Because what you're talking about is now retraining the person to bowl with a straight arm where, where there is a degree of, of bending. Uh, so, so how long that is, 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 is anybody's guess. Now you correctly mm -hmm. said that um, when he played for the West Indies on the 19th, mm -hmm. there was a problem, he was called. I want to take you back to Jermaine Lawson mm -hmm. because Jermaine Lawson had the same problem that was identified about six or seven years only after he started to do well. Mm -hmm. um, how often, how long do you think it's going to take for Jordan to, to continue his career before he is indeed perhaps called on an international stage? Well, I think that's one of our flaws. Um, we, are, we sometimes allow these things to fester for way too long. Um, the other thing is that we don't have the scientific, scientific analysis readily available and utilised in, in, our, in our cricket, whether it be at the international level with, with the senior team and, and having analysis there with them constantly and or within the local cricket. On, on the local cricket um, scene. So, so as a result of that, um, you're going to find a number of these players who will slip through the cracks. And, and, and because we are, we are hungry for um, an international fast ball at 90 miles an hour and, and so on, and someone to, to come in and, and, and take the mantle over from, from our previous fast ball, we are always read, readily available to, to, to fast track these, these players, and even though we know they've got flaws in the case of Jermaine Lawson. Yeah, well, but you, you make an extremely good point, Wendell, and I think that that is a critical factor because Ray Jordan came into this line called Caribbean Premier League. When people saw the name Jordan, mm -hmm. they wondered if it was Christopher it was Jordan Christopher. had come down from, from England to play in the CPL. Mm -hmm. So literally, he has burst on the scene. He's bowled extremely well, but the problem is identified now, so, that, so then there's a delay in his progress. Yeah. Yeah, and, 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 and the thing would be for us to do now is for the Essence Cricket Board and, and certainly for, for his home board, the, the Windward Island, to make sure that they get as much help as possible. I, 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 my recommendation would be that we send them off for further analysis, um, get the report back as soon as possible, and, and, and then to, to, to have the course of remediation, whether it is that we, that we bring in people to, to, to help with the remediation, whether it is that we have the, 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 the specialised coaches here who can do it, and I'm certain that we have, um, but what is needed right now at this stage, from, from what I have seen, is, is a course of remediation without a shadow of a doubt. All right. Uh, we are zoning in on the bowling action of Ray Jordan, one of the promising aspects we've seen in the Lima Call CPL. But uh, we've had uh, lots of emails and lots of discussion about his action and Wendell Copping, a former West Indies Cricket Board Development Officer, coming in to talk about it. When we come back on the program, we're going to look generally at the CPL and perhaps just touch a little bit on the ongoing series with West Indies, of, of, sorry, with India and England. When we come back on Mass United Insurance's line and length. <laughs> Across the Caribbean, more people are placing their trust in Massey United Insurance for the protection of the things that are important to them, their homes, businesses, and their prized possessions. That's because Massey United Insurance offers excellent general insurance coverage to help you manage whatever life sends your way. Our cadre of well-reputed agencies and trained insurance professionals are always ready to provide you with sound advice and prompt service. Choose the security and sound strength that is Massey United Insurance. I live cool, I live fresh, I live life without the stress Every day I feel my best, I live cool with Lima Call Feel the energy, feel the breeze, I feel like doing as I please Relaxation comes with ease, I live cool with Lima Call Live cool with Lima Call and feel the freshness of a breeze in a bottle Lima Call is trusted the world over and gives that easy, breezy Caribbean feel to all Every day I feel my best
In the Caribbean, we do things a little differently. Okay, a lot differently. Our parties are bigger and more colorful. Our people are more beautiful and more sensual. Our fans are more expressive and loud. And our cricket, our cricket is exhilarating. Lima Call CPL, the biggest party in sport, is back. And it's time to come see the stars of West Indies cricket alongside the best international players in T20. Peterson, Mule Litheran, Hafiz, and many more when the Lima Call CPL returns from 11th July to 16th August. The Caribbean comes alive with partying, dancing, cheering, and the thrill of the Lima Call Caribbean Premier League. It's time to join the biggest party in sport. See CPLT20.com for details. It's how we play. So we're back on the program, Mass United Insurance's line of length. Wendell Coppin remains with us. We are going to look at the CPL, the Lima Call Caribbean Premier League, winding down now in St. Kitts and Nevis. Wendell, this is the second edition of the CPL. A bit later on, we're going to hear from Mike Hazeman, who is in St. Kitts. But as a, as a coach, as a development officer, what are your thoughts about this tournament this year, the second year running? Um, my first thoughts is the, the lack of, of supporters and, and I'm disappointed that, that one, that, that the prices, um, I've, I've had a, a number of people from England who were here, uh, one of the schools that I work with and, 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 and one of the things that they commented on was, was the fact that the prices had gone up by 100%. <laughs> um, I thought w what made it the, the spectacle that it was last year was the fact that, that the prices, the ticket prices across Kensington, when you looked at Kensington, on that first and the second night where the entire stadium was sold out. But, the, the, but one of the things that caused the stadium to be sold out was the, the, the prices. Um, for, so for me, the disappointing thing was that the stadiums were not totally sold out and we did not ensure that they were sold out. So again, we, we, looking at the economics of the Caribbean, the, 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 the current state of economics across the region, one would have thought that the prices could have been um, significantly cheaper to, to allow for, for bigger crowds. But on the whole, um, again, you've seen some, we've seen some good cricket. Dwayne Smith, again, the two innings that he has played has shown uh, some maturity. Um, again, Jordan, with the, with, with, with the pace that he's bowled at, um, that has come up irrespective of, of, of the, the flaws that he has in his action. Um, some, some of the games, again, has been, been very good. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd like to see, uh, from, a, from a development point of view, I'd like to see one or two of the youngsters coming through and given an opportunity to come through, I, I still think that that they, they, even though we've got the young the young cricketers in, in the team, that we're not giving them a big enough role, and, and and that for me, from a development perspective, is is, is one of the things that I'd, I'd like to see change. The West Indies Cricket Board has indicated that this is our regional T20, which means that the players from this will be selected for our West Indies team. But what we have not seen, as you mentioned, are the younger players being given the opportunity. We've had several international players around, uh, unfortunately, most of whom have not really delivered. So what we have had then, therefore, is, is an absence of, of the younger players, as you mentioned, but also the international players not really delivering. And that has been a disappointment to me. I don't know your thoughts. Yeah, um, and, and it, it is always difficult with, with, with the international cricketers coming in to, to a tournament such as this one um, where th there is th for them there is no loyalty to, to, to any of the countries um, there is no big significance um, where winning is concerned um, as opposed to a young Barbadian or a young Trinidadian or a young Jamaican who is making the Jamaica side and who wants to win for his country uh, so the, the difficulty with, with the international stars is it, it's a hit or miss. They are, they're either going to perform absolutely brilliant, and, and, and if they do, yes, we will stand up and say, yes, we, we, we love it. Or they don't, and, and, and I'm not so sure that they really bother if they don't. Um, <laughs> but, on, but at the same time, if, if it is our major tournament, we've got, to, we've got to seriously look at how do we promote the next generation of West Indies T20 cricketers. I mean, we've got to remember that only two T20 World Cups ago, we were world champions. Mm. Um, we should now be preparing for the next T20 World Cup. And I'm not certain that, I, that I've seen sufficient um, performances from the younger people that will say that we are actually on the progress of preparing for the next T20 World Cup. 
Well, it, it, it's a good point, and uh, you mentioned because what what we are seeing basically is the the known performers, as you mentioned, the Chris Gale, the Dwayne Smith, the Sunan Orion, though he's been injured the last couple of games, Lendl Simmons. These are guys who are all proven on the world stage of T20. But as you mentioned, and, but all of them are are except for the, the exception of Narayan are on the wrong side of 30, mm -hmm. and there that is a problem. And speaking about the wrong side of 30. What of Tino Bess mm -hmm. at, at 33 in a couple of days? No, again, I'm not. I mean, Tino, he's come to an age where the, the difficulty investing in his cricket is that, that for years, I mean, generations of, of our cricketers have been discarded at, at, at 30, mm -hmm. never mind 33. <laughs> um, I fear for Tino's career currently, certainly on, 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 the, on the regional stage. Um, when you look at the Barbados team, and you look at, at, at the young fast world that we have young Miguel come in who, who sat out most of last year, um, who perhaps was, was deserving of a player. Um, but at the same time, you look at Tino Bess, as you said, on the wrong side of, of 33, close to. Um, I would have thought that, that Tino is now pushing the boundaries. Uh, if, if you haven't, and if you, at, at 33, you need to be on top of your game. And I'm not sure that Tino has been on top of the world game. Um, certainly over the last two or three years. So as a result of that, if, if, I, was, if I was chairman and selected, I certainly would be, would be considering my options with regards to Tino's age, um, what he brings to the team, uh, how, how much he brings off the field, um, as much as how much he brings on the field. And, and, and certainly, if I, I, if I were him also and his advisors, I'd be concerned with regards to his longevity within the international stage, certainly regional and international. Right, some interesting mm. comments there, lots of food for thought. Uh, he touched a bit there on the selection panel, Chairman of Selectors. Um, I can say to you, it is my understanding, that the selection panel will change, of course, in September, and Clive Lloyd is uh, set to become the new Chairman of Selectors for West Indies Cricket, um, along with um, Courtney Walsh and Eldine Baptiste to replace Robert Haynes and, of course, Courtney Brown. But that should be confirmed very shortly uh, by the WICB. All right, when we come back on Mass United, United Insurance is Lionel Lamp. We're going to thank Wendell for coming. And we're going to also hear from Mike Hazeman, who is in St. Kitts, when we come back. Across the Caribbean, more people are placing their trust in Massey United Insurance for the protection of the things that are important to them, their homes, businesses, and their prized possessions. That's because Massey United Insurance offers excellent general insurance coverage to help you manage whatever life sends your way. Our cadre of well-reputed agencies and trained insurance professionals are always ready to provide you with sound advice and prompt service. Choose the security and sound strength that is Massey United Insurance. Caribbean, we do things a little differently. Okay, a lot differently. Our parties are bigger and more colorful. Our people are more beautiful and more sensual. Our fans are more expressive and loud. And our cricket, our cricket is exhilarating. Lima Call CPL, the biggest party in sport, is back. And it's time to come see the stars of West Indies cricket alongside the best international players in T20. Peterson, Mulitharan, Hafiz, and many more when the Lima Call CPL returns from 11th July to 16th August. The Caribbean comes alive with partying, dancing, cheering, and the thrill of the Lima Call Caribbean Premier League. It's time to join the biggest party in sport. See CPLT20.com for details. It's how we play. I live cool, I live fresh, I live life without the stress Every day I feel my best, I live cool with Lima Call Feel the energy, feel the breeze, I feel like doing as I please Relaxation comes with ease, I live cool with Lima Call Live cool with Lima Call and feel the freshness of a breeze in a bottle Lima Call is trusted the world over and gives that easy, breezy Caribbean feel to all Every day I feel my best Call. 
So as promised, with me is Mike Hazeman. Mike, of course, is a well-established commentator. He's doing the Lamical Caribbean Premier League and he's the lead commentator for Supersport in South Africa. We join him now from St. Kitts and Nevis. Mike, good to see you. I know you're about to head out to the game. But I want to first of all ask you, you were here last year for the first season of the Lamical CPL. Now into season two, how have you perhaps, say, looked at this tournament in the second season? Hello, Barry. First of all, it made us a delight to, to be on your show again. You know, I, the CPL last year, we spoke about the CPL, and I thought it was just magnificent, and I think the fact that we had all those night games were outstanding and the, and the crowds were terrific. And I know that some of the, the time zones have changed a little bit uh, this time and the, the starting times of games, so we haven't had, uh, I guess, the packed stadiums uh, so far. But now we're in St Kitts, and you're right, I'm not too, too far away from, uh, from heading off. But let's hope that it really fires up in St Kitts. But, you know, to me, the, the, the thing is we've got these young kids coming through, and it's just so exciting to see young kids doing the business. I think we also have a, a bit of a continuing problem that we had last year, that some of the overseas players are not pulling their weight as much as they, sh as they should. But to me, you know, I mean, you know me, Barry, I love the Caribbean. It's all about the buzz and the fun and the, and the colour and the, and the flair. I mean, that's the important thing. And I, and I just think it's great that the CPL allows the local West Indies players in particular to shine on a, on a big stage that's been broadcast all around the world and to show their flair. I mean, that's the secret of, of Caribbean cricket. Well, I, I'm glad you touched on the fact about the overseas players because um, they have not really come to the party per se, perhaps besides Sher Malik, who did well last year for the Tridents and continues to do well this year. But we haven't yep. seen Kevin Peterson. What's the story on him? Have you heard anything about him playing or not? He's arrived. He's playing today. We understand, and uh, and what a what a pity for the Zooks that uh, what are they? That they're out of the qualification now, and yeah. and suddenly yeah. comes for the last few games. That's disappointing for for I'm sure the Zooks and uh, and Zook supporters. But I know that he can't wait to get going. He's been talking about uh, the CPL for a long time. These days, he's reduced to this sort of cricket pretty much, and and and, and really enjoys going around the world and playing. But uh, he's here. He's arrived at the hotel. He's bouncing around the place and rearing to go. Now let's talk about the tournament generally. It's the, the premium tournament, T20, uh, for cricketers in the Caribbean. Who wins this goes to play in the Champions League. What do you think about the standard of, let's say, the, the normal teams, the Talawas, the Tridents, without those other players who might not be able to play in the Champions League uh, because they might have uh, some commitments with the other big-name teams like the IPL teams or the Big Bash teams? Do you think that the, the local players will be able to hold their own when they go to the Champions League, whoever wins this tournament? I do, but Barry, it goes back to the same old problem I think we've talked about for a long time in the Caribbean. It's all about the disciplines of the game and game awareness. It's, it's one thing I've seen so far in the CPL, and I was in Sri Lanka uh, doing the South Africa versus Sri Lanka series when it first started, and obviously I've been here for a little bit now. But the things, that, I mean, and we saw it in, in Sri Lanka, so that's another uh, through uh, broadcast there throughout Asia. So that's great mileage as well for the players. But again, it's the same old thing. I mean, there are discipline errors. The guys are, are not thinking enough about the game. You know, little simple things like getting boundaries off the first couple of balls of the over, getting a couple of twos, and knowing that over's okay, and then doing something rash with the last last uh, ball or the second last ball of the game. And that's not good enough. And these are exactly the sort of things that guys should be learning from those experienced pros who may not be available. So providing they can take that on board, go to the Champions League and play and learn from those guys and actually take it a step up, then they'll be okay. All right, let's flip the script now. We have two series I want to talk to you about. Uh, the ongoing series is with England and India. Um, we are in the middle of the test match, so obviously a lot might have happened since uh, by the time we broadcast. I, I want to talk to you about this series generally. Are you really seeing England give the fight that you thought that they would have at the beginning of the series when they were so badly down with not winning a test match, of course, until they, they ended that drought uh, a couple of weeks ago? I saw too many guys giving up. Simple as that. I just saw a, a bunch of England cricketers who didn't really want to fight at all. I saw India arriving in England shores. Certainly the underdogs previously haven't played well in, in, uh, in England, haven't been used to conditions. I saw them grab every single opportunity for the first couple of tests, really, and I saw England really meek and mild. However, it's amazing. Just the, the, I mean, there's no doubt that when your captain is performing, and I'm sure that uh, everyone knows uh, only too well that the captain is always targeted by opposition teams in test matches, it's a bit like uh, chopping off the, the head of the snake, then the rest of the body just collapses as well. But 95 for Cook after, and let's face it, he could have won that toss and he could have said, we'll bowl in those conditions uh, in the third test match. But 
But he took it on. He batted, got 95. Yes, should have been out for 15. That doesn't really matter. He made the runs, and that just made a massive difference to the team. You almost got the sense, Barry, that the side was just waiting, and I think he was lucky to stay in, in the job as captain, but just waiting for the opportunity for, for him to perform, and then the rest of the guys just uh, galvanised behind him. So, I mean, England were near faultless. They played a near perfect test match in the, the third one, and uh, in the start of the fourth test, I mean, the first couple of hours, the first 20 minutes was just extraordinary. And we saw some, I mean, I'm a, I'm a big rap for James Anderson. I'm a bigger rap for Dale Steyn, but I don't think there's too much in it. But James Anderson's skill level in the first 20 minutes, that first spelly ball, and it was, it was a long spell on day one of this test at Old Trafford, was, uh, was quite extraordinary. And, and you know, that's, that's put him on the back foot and hard for, for India to recover from there. But now we've got uh, some fight in the dog. India are in this series, and it's going to be fascinating from here on. Fast forward now and talk about the West Indies South Africa series. Okay. The last time the West Indians were there, they won the first test, but then they still lost a series to one. Generally, the West Indies have not improved a lot in test cricket. South Africa, they've improved dramatically, although albeit under a new captain. I think my main question is, do you think this series is going to make sense from a competitive standpoint? Do you see any sense of competitiveness up ahead for that West Indies-South Africa series? Absolutely, Barry. I mean, I'm a, I'm a massive lover of test cricket. We know things can happen. And as you said, the West Indies early in the last series were impressive. You know, the West Indies got to understand they're up against a, a ridiculously good side at the moment. And uh, when you think about it, you lost, uh, well, South Africa's lost Smith and Cullis in the space of a couple of months. However... I mean, who's remembering those guys? I mean, you've got two absolute giants of the game and other blokes have stepped into the breach and have actually taken it on and played well. The other thing which I think is important, and if we look back at, uh, just touch briefly on the recent series uh, in Sri Lanka, you've got guys that are, that are stepping up to the plate to cover those bases as well. I mean, Dale Stain under Hashim Amla, and he told me he's now, his, his main job is to be a shock bowler, to bowl as quickly as he can first up, to bowl short spells and really make a difference at the start of an innings, and that's exactly what he did in Sri Lanka. So he is a different bowler. Now, he's going to be, that's going to be a fascinating clash with some of your guys as well. He like to obviously take on the bowlers as best they can. But I think it, I mean, I think it's, I mean, I love Test cricket. I think it's going to be a fascinating series. The South African public always love having the West Indies players come to, uh, to South Africa because of the way they play the game and how much they enjoy the game. I'd like to think they start well in that first Test match. We've got three Test matches. What is it? Uh, five one days, I think, and, and three T20s as well. So it's a long tour. If it doesn't start well for the West Indies right at the start in the Test series, then it could uh, have a bit of a downward spiral. Because I'm telling you what, South Africa. I mean, they have got that number one spot back now, and they're not going to give it away in a hurry. They're a, they're a hungry side. Hashim is a new captain, and every single time I, I chatted to some of the guys in Sri Lanka, they all made the same comment, Barry. They said, "Okay, Graham Smith's gone. He was magnificent for ten years." But now we've got a new skipper, and we want to do it for the captain. I mean, there's probably no one who's better respected in world cricket than Hashim Amla, and the guys, uh, the guys are really keen to, to, to have his uh, leadership uh, tenure and be very successful with South Africa. All right, familiar song to that. All right, thanks so much, Mike Hazeman, for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you some more as the Lyman Call Cabin Premier League climaxes. My pleasure, Barry. Good on you, mate. Take care. Across the Caribbean, more people are placing their trust in Massey United Insurance for the protection of the things that are important to them, their homes, businesses, and their prized possessions. That's because Massey United Insurance offers excellent general insurance coverage to help you manage whatever life sends your way. Our cadre of well-reputed agencies and trained insurance professionals are always ready to provide you with sound advice and prompt service. Choose the security and sound strength that is Massey United Insurance. I live cool, I live fresh, I live life without the stress Every day I feel my best, I live cool with Limacol Feel the energy, feel the breeze, I feel like doing as I please Relaxation comes with ease, I live cool with Limacol Live cool with Limacol and feel the freshness of a breeze in a bottle Limacol is trusted the world over and gives that easy, breezy Caribbean feel to all Every day I feel my best So that's it for our program today. We want to thank Wendell Coppin for coming and also uh, Mike Hazeman joining us there from St. Kitts and Nevis. Andrew, we look forward to the climax of the Lemon Call CPL. I suppose by next week we'll have a winner for you. Red Steel or Talibans? <laughs> Your pick. Uh, it's still interesting. Uh, do not count out the Guyana Amazon Warriors. Well, and what about that. the Tridents? Do we count the them tridents, out? Four and three. The Tridents have been inconsistent last year and we've seen Same that again. Same thing. 
Talawas. Red steel. steel. Red steel are hot this year. Uh, and uh, Trinidad and Tobago red steel, I beg your pardon. And also the Amazon Wars. I think they are going to be the three top ones in the tournament this year. Well, if no rain is back, yeah. the Amazon Warriors will have their trump card. Yes. So, next week. See you then. Bye-bye for now.